Hi, my name is Richard Harbage. I'm a Microsoft MVP, and I wanted to share one of my favorite announcements about Microsoft Teams from Microsoft Build. To Lead is a remote first company based out of Canada. What makes a world class Microsoft 365 internet and digital workplace? One of the most exciting announcements, and there was a lot of Microsoft Teams announcements, was that you can now have collaboration controls, is what they're calling them, within the Power Apps experience. Now, you might say, that doesn't really feel like a Teams thing, but uh, bear with me here, because it's really exciting. What it means is I can build you know, really powerful Power Apps, which I'm sure many of you are doing today, that solve business problems. And one of the problems uh, in those Power Apps often is that I have to build my own experiences. If I want to organize meetings and you know the ability to, to coordinate and create meetings, if I want to have the ability to um, issue tasks and have that connectivity with Planner and all the power of Planner, if I wanted to have files and have the ability to upload files and have like the library experience for files, if I wanted to um, have notes and more approvals, you, you get the, the gist. There's so many of these patterns where we essentially rebuild stuff in the Power Platform uh, for a collaborative app or for a special business process. And now what we can actually do is we can just drag and drop uh, you know the the files uh, experience or the um, meetings experience across into that uh, power app and now we can use that instead which gives us the new meeting creation ability the scheduling it gives us you know in the files example the upload and, and all the capabilities there you know the way it shows them in a, in a sort of a list like all those kinds of capabilities are now available to us through these collaboration controls and that doesn't just save development time what it means is that if you have ideas for business process automation or solutioning and you want to simplify and streamline things, you know, have a, a wizard and experience that simplifies things, you can do that without losing uh, potentially a lot of the fidelity that comes with using something like Microsoft Teams as the place that you're currently collaborating and working in. You can have that collaboration richness, those capabilities in the context of a Power App. And that's a huge win, not just for people who love Power Apps or who are doing business process automation like we are with lots of customers, but it's a big win for organizations where now they know, you know, the learning investments and how to use things like Microsoft Teams to do these activities, um, th those will translate moving forward even into, you know, custom or specialized apps and solutions that we build. So um, it's it sounds a little uh, odd, uh, collaboration controls within Power Apps, but, uh, but it's a very exciting uh, change and with uh, such a huge robust emphasis on low code development that's going on, you know, a market need and desire to build these kinds of solutions to simplify, to improve the employee experience and automate processes around employee experience. You know, this is a, a, a wonderful opportunity for us to take advantage of. And I hope, you know, your organization starts to play with these collaborative controls when they are thinking of those process automations and things that you're doing in the Power Platform space. And uh, that's that's it. I just really wanted to share how excited I am about this announcement and uh, and how I think it it changes a lot for a lot of organizations and users. Mm -hmm.